1 times negative 12. So that goes here. As a district, we have 74 teachers who came together to learn the curriculum and then write the curriculum. So we have a pre-K-12 homegrown curriculum collectively as a district when you come together and you focus on the growth mindset and skillful teaching and how you can really help provide strategies for students to tackle a rigorous curriculum with new practices and, and using literacy skills and, and thinking and problem solving skills, providing those strategies you now see more prevalent in classrooms. The teachers coming together and learning the process and then seeing from the district superintendent and central office that we trust in your professional skills and we believe in and you know what you're doing best and when you put this curriculum together this will be our curriculum I, I think what we saw almost overnight was the teacher leadership come out within this district the teachers felt very strong that they were uh, this was their going to be their curriculum and, and that has made just a, a cultural shift I see that a lot within the schools Part of that program allows them to conduct a scholastic reading inventory three times throughout the year. And so not only we're doing that with our neediest students, but we're doing it school-wide. Uncovering the data, you now have a lot more professional learning teams coming together to look at each other's data, talk about strategies within different groups. Literacy, particularly writing, is expected in every content area across every grade level really trying to ramp up those efforts, revisiting a lot of those strategies from Skillful Teacher. They have keys to literacy. What are those common instructional frameworks that we are using to teach vocabulary? And so teachers are now really getting into the data piece and looking at Lexile level and truly understanding where our students are and how can we grow them back to that kind of growth mindset. And then what does that mean for classroom instruction?